what is going on everyone it's your boy random arts coming with a quick video so on this video guys we're going to be talking about the overall global crypto market and we're going to also be taking a look at bitcoin since bitcoin is the leader of the pack so wherever bitcoin goes typically that's where the crypto market goes so just want to give you guys just some expectation of what we could see as early as january um, January, February of 2023. So before I get to the video, make sure you smash that like button, leave a comment down below. Love to hear your thoughts and opinion regarding cryptocurrency. So if we take a look here, guys, the global crypto market is at $798 billion. So it actually had just a slight increase in the last 24 hours. Um, so we're still below the one trillion threshold where we were constantly above all of i want to say 2021 and some of 2022 but today is the last day and definitely want to just say happy new year's to everyone that is watching as well too wherever you are in the world but if we take a look guys bitcoin right now is at 16,605 and i think the main reason why we're seeing, you know, this end of the year um, where cryptocurrency haven't really been popping um, is due to the fact of uh, tax losses. So if you don't know what tax losses is, is when corporations or individual investors would actually sell at a loss so that way they could lower their capital gains. So I think that's what's happening right now with uh, with Bitcoin. You have institutional investors that came in this year in it. And instead of them, you know, reaping or getting the capital gains, they're going to sell their Bitcoin to drive the price down. Um, not really intentionally in the sense of they're maliciously trying to bring it down, but just in the sense of them bringing it down. So that way that they could get a you know, on their balance sheet is going to show, hey, I'm actually in Bitcoin at a loss. I lost X amount. So that way they don't have to pay um, high taxes. So that is a common strategy that's used in the stock market where you typically see a lot of stocks around the end of the year tend to start going down due to the fact of capital gain loss or tax uh, losses. So again, I think that's what's happening right now with Bitcoin and what typically end up happening. And some people call this the January effect. Um, and the reason being is like after they take that loss, what they typically t uh, tend to do is to rebuy that same coin or that same stock right around January to get right back into their position. So it's just one way of really gaining the system. Um, when it comes to paying taxes, because if they sell for a loss, um, then that means, again, they don't have to pay that much in taxes. So they turn around Biden in January to get right back into their position, which if we do get that buying pressure, it should be able to get us over where we need to be. So I'm going to be very watchful just to see how it goes in January and February, just to see how Bitcoin reacts. So if we take a look at a weekly chart of Bitcoin, these are some of the areas of interest that I see as far as for Bitcoin, where it actually needs to get. It definitely needs to get above this $19,000 mark, because if it gets above the $19,000 mark, then we could see a potential rally going back into, you know, maybe the 30s, uh, 30,000s. Um, but the next leg down from its current position where it's at, it's right around the 13,000 and following 11,000. So one thing about it, whenever you're doing uh, technical analysis, it's always better to use a line chart because with the line chart, you are able to see it a lot clearer. And also the areas of interest are well defined. So. If we take a look here at other uh, crypto projects, um, you know, like I mentioned, wherever Bitcoin goes, typically that's where all the other altcoins is going to go. You have Ethereum um, at 12,000. I'm sorry, uh, 1,200. I wish it was at 12,000. 
BNB 204, uh, 247, and so on and so on. You even got Sheeb, uh, rank number 15 now, is at 0 .50815. Um, so the prices of where these crypto projects are from basically a year ago, a lot of them are down 70, 80, 90 percent. Um, not financial advice, of course, but it does serve as buying opportunity. We don't know how long this bear market is going to continue. This is just a guesstimate based upon past performance. Um, and again, past performance is not indicative of future returns, but you know, sometimes history do like to rhyme. So that's where I'm getting my thesis from based upon past history. So hopefully we see this run up, you know, in January to kick off 2023. So I thought I'd make this video for you guys. Make sure you smash that like button. Thanks again for supporting me. This is Random Arts Guy signing off. Peace.